Trini going to go for a worldie? Now gets to Miranda who goes for the worldie. And it might be Miranda's worldie that wins us the game. In the 84th minute, our left back, one Miranda, is the guy who's put us ahead. How's it going everyone? My name is Stu. Welcome to my Deportivo La Corina save here on Football Manager 2024. Thanks for joining me in today's video which is part number 33. If you have only just come across this save then there is a playlist in the top corner. This is the beginning of season 5 so you could jump on here if you wanted to. Um, we have gone quite deep into this save at the moment. We are in season 5 as mentioned. We've taken Deportivo La Coruña through to the top league in Spain, into La Liga, also into the Champions League. Two two seasons in a row, or one season in a row? One season. We've done it for one season. This will be the third season we've been in La Liga. Last season, we entered the Champions League properly. This season, we'll have another crack at it. If you're excited to see how we get on in the opening couple of fixtures of today's new season thing. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm so excited about getting it going. Then don't forget to leave a big like on the video for me. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Completely free to do so. It's going to put a big smile in this face right here. Honestly, what is not to love about that? I don't know why I'm doing this a lot. That's a bit of a, a weird thing to do. Um, so since you were last with me, nothing's happened. I, to no surprise to anyone, I'm sure, because normally I film this back to back with the end of the transfer special, which was the last video. So nothing has happened. Just a reminder on the transfer business that we have done. Um, this is a bit deceiving because it's only showing two players on here. I made a lot of them before the season ticked over. So we did bring in Casper Dolberg as a backup striker. On our Martinez is our new right back as Alvaro Carrillo decided he wanted to leave us. Not that I'm bitter. Um, if we look over to this side here, we can see the transfers in and out, which are probably a bit more reflective of what's actually happened. So you can see from Veloso downwards, that's what we've done this season. Veloso's in on the permanent. Hwajek's in on the permanent. We signed Nianzu. We signed Arthur as a youngster. We signed Navarro back after he was with us a couple of years ago. But we also sold Jandro Arellana and Avara Carrillo, both of them to release clauses, although we wanted to let Arellana go. Carrillo we'd have rather have kept. So that's what? £25 million all in all between those two players, which is pretty good going. I mean, we've spent a heck of a lot this season. I mean, Veloso himself was £16 million. We didn't pay that up front, of course. Very little of our fees do we pay up front. So we probably are going to start putting some financial strain on the club. We're currently rich. We've currently got a good balance. The last few seasons, we've done pretty well. But you can see the money is probably going to start ticking downwards at the as it stands. We'll probably be able to salvage that with Champions League qualification as long as we continue to do that. But we probably will have to make some player sales at some point. In terms of player value, the most valuable one we've got in the club is Martinez. So at some point, although we've just brought him in, he might have to go. Navarro as well. Furich as well. I mean, Furich is 29. He's been our best player the last couple of seasons. I don't really want to think about having to lose him. But we might have to think about that at some point. I mean, last season he was exceptional. I mean, last season he was the top goal scorer in La Liga. Whether he'll be able to do that again this season or not, I don't know. But if we can get that to happen, then we... I mean, again, I don't like thinking about it this far out, but we might have to consider where he fits in the future at 29 years old. Jota to a degree as well at 28. Now, no one's interested in either of them at the moment, but if we get interested in them going forward... That is something we're going to have to think about. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Let's get on to today's opening game against Espanyol, an opening home game, and this is the 11 we're going to be using. You'll be familiar with most of it. It's the Gea in goal, Trulli, Akoli, Vandenberg, and Miranda in defence, Gomez, Stoikas, and Veloso in the midfield with Jota, Fermin, and Hlajak up front. I lied, you'll be familiar with all of it. There's no changes to the starting 11. Um, the main player who would be starting is Martinez, who's injured. All of the others are really backup players, but I want to kind of give them a bit of a chance to ease in. They have all played pre-season, so they probably would be able to go. Nyanza and Navarro definitely would be able to go at the moment, but I do just want to take things a little bit at a time. We have probably taken a bit of a risk this season. Our starting eleven isn't really going to be that different to last season's. I don't necessarily think that's where the issue was. I think last season a big problem we had was squad depth. There was definitely some drop-offs in some of our squad depth. I think we've addressed that this season, and I think we're going to look a lot sharper and a lot better. Now, of course, in my last pre-season friendly, I played it, and I set us up to be on 2D. Because I always forget that I do it. And I never remember to change it back. Despite telling myself this is going to be the time. That I'm going to change it back. And I never do. So what are you going to do? But here we are. We are underway in the La Liga season 4, season 5. This was going to be the final season of the same. But again, I've made that decision. We're going to be carrying on through to either an organic finishing point. Where it feels like it's the right point to finish. Or just to the end of FM24. And we'll just 
pick up FM25 when it first comes out and then we'll just try and round the season up as quickly as that and then we're going to try and do some rebuilds I've got another rebuild on the way hopefully by this point you've seen the Liverpool one I'm going to go out on a limb and say you've seen the second one which is a Newcastle one hopefully you guys have enjoyed that as well I haven't finished that one at this point as I'm recording it so hopefully I managed to get that finished before this video comes out I really should do right we've got the first highlight of the game here we're coming for Vandenberg coming very far forward in Stoikers for me lovely play here for me tried to get it to Hijek he can't quite find it there we managed to get the ball back it's a little bit clumsy but we do get it truly now looking to go out wide and the highlight does end up ending it ended up being a highlight of nothing really which is a bit disappointing but we have been on top in terms of match momentum in terms of possession passing uh, xg everything's looking good apart from a goal we know this whenever we don't have makoko as the striker we do look lack a bit of a cutting edge even with makoko sometimes we look like we lack it a bit Hlajek is struggling. We obviously don't have the top goal scorer from last season in the squad. So it could be a bit of a struggle. Pre-season we've done okay when we've not had either of them. But still, it would be quite nice to get a goal in this first half. If we don't get it, it's fine. I'm not going to panic or anything. Um, we have got the option of swapping the striker if we feel like we need to. Again, that's the whole point of bringing in someone like Dolberg. It just gives us another option if we need it. Right, let's have a word with the front three because they're not playing particularly well at all. I mean, we've made Femi nervous, which is a bit of a concern below. So I'm going to tell him I'm not happy with him. He's been very good in pre-season as a playmaker. A bit disappointed that he's not picked things up so far. Right, do we make any immediate changes or do we stick? I think we stick with it. I, th I think it's too early to do that. I think it is. Right, we're going to go attacking though. That's what we're going to do. Let's just try and push them a bit more. We're going to demand more from the boys. There's more from us to give. We can dominate them a lot more than we have been. And we just need to start getting those chances on target a little bit more. We're just not really doing it at the moment. Um, I mean, Hlajek is on shoot less often, but that is by design because his finishing isn't that good. But I think we're going to go for Dolberg. We're going to give him some minutes to see what he... In fact, there's no point in going for Dolberg if we've got Makoko on the bench. He's just come back from injury. Let's get him on the pitch, see if he can do anything. Jota hasn't been particularly brilliant. I'm going to move Firmin out to the right, and we're going to bring on Boedo and just see if he can put in a little bit of young magic. Stoikas also hasn't been particularly great, so De Costa's going to come on, and I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to go too crazy, but we're going to go for those three, all of whom seem happy to come on after I've had a chat with them, and we're just going to fire up. It's not the end of the world if we don't win this first game, but we've got enough to get past this lot. Um, the fact that we're not is a little bit concerning, but again, we've had the difficulty of not having our top goal scorer from last season, who is our best player, and also not having our number one striker fully fit he is on the pitch now of course Makoko now turns his man beautifully getting into the area has the long shot it's just wide but it's nice to see us actually have a shot like that on a highlight we've been missing that a little bit right um final couple of changes I'm actually going to take Firmin off for Kasper Dolberg which feels like a bit of a weird one but again the whole point we've brought Kasper Dolberg in is that he can come in and do that Veloso hasn't been particularly brilliant either so I'm going to take him off and we're going to give Navarro some minutes as well his return to the club after that really good loan spell that he had um, where he, again, took a little while to get going. But once he got going, he was a bit of a superstar for us. Right, Pereira da Costa now. Getting it out wide to Dolberg. Dolberg into Trilli. Trilli back to Dolberg. He's playing as an inside forward, so he's going to be looking to cut inside, if not lay it off to someone. Probably lay it off. Gets it to Trilli here. Trilli going to go for a worldie. Now gets to Miranda, who goes for the worldie. And it might be Miranda's worldie that wins us the game in the 84th minute. Our left back, Juan Miranda, is the guy who's put us ahead. It's not how I'd ideally have liked to get a goal, but we've got a goal. Dolberg does brilliantly on this side. Finds Trilli. It's a really nice pass to him. Trilli lays it off to um, Miranda, who just hoofs it. We effectively go full back to full back. Both of them in the middle, basically playing as inverted wing backs there, even though they're not meant to be. Lovely stuff. And we actually start the next highlight with the kickoff. So I'm a bit worried they're about to hit us with a bit of a sucker counter punch. Right, let's get the ball off of them, boys, and let's go and get a second. That's what That would be my preference in terms of how this highlight ends. It would absolutely be my preference. But I can't really intercept there. Um, the ball comes through, but we do get the ball back, and the ball is now with De Gea. De Gea now goes out wide to Miranda, the goal scorer, into Vandenberg. Vandenberg now looking for options. Goes out to Gomez, into Navarro, to Costa now. We are coming forward here at some pace. Dolberg looking to get it out wide to Boedo. Boedo into Navarro. Navarro... Gets a goal on his return. Lovely work from Robert Navarro. I'm really happy that he's back. I have to admit, once we signed him, I did have a, 
I was kind of giving it a bit large in the transfer special of how happy I was. I am delighted we've gone him back. But I did also think, is this a sentimental signing? He's gone and scored on his debut, or his re-debut. Uh, Boedo gets a cheeky assist as well, which I love to see. That's fantastic. That works really well. Navarro gets confidence returning to the club in a sort of new position. And Boedo gets an assist on not his first start for the club but his first start for the club as a proper first teamer because he always came in as like a youngster getting some minutes now he's properly a part of the first team and that should do his confidence and his development of the world of good Dolberg here I tell you what Dolberg I'm not going to put it all down to Dolberg but we've changed the game in the second half we look so much more clinical and Makoko even gets a third as well and that's a really important goal because we need him really if we want to get any further than we have done the last two seasons we need Makoko who is in his last season with us as well remember two season loan joined us last year in January he will be leaving us at the end of this season we need him to be firing on all cylinders we really need him to be firing on all cylinders and he gets us a goal, which is fantastic. And that is that. I mean, Trilly gets a couple of assists as well. My worries about Trilly, I'm not going to say we're greatly exaggerated, but it ended up not really mattering too much. We end up with a really good win that was a little bit concerning to begin with. Lajek, very disappointed in him, considering how good he has been for us. And he can do striker quite well. Very disappointing. I might have a bit of a fiddle around with his... Um, instructions i might change him off of don't shoot i might take him off that now to be honest with you because although his finishing is only a 12 but i mean at the end of the day he's a striker so we probably need to let him shoot a little bit right seven days time athletic bill bow we'll probably get a bit of a crash back down to earth uh, with athletic bill bow but uh we'll see how it goes um but i'm really happy with that good win to start the season Okay, the signing of Bayetic has been confirmed. He is in on a loan for the uh, rest of the season. Possibly even here until next season. I can't remember whether I negotiated that with Liverpool or not. Um, no, I didn't. It's just at the end of this season, which is fine. He'll do a decent job. He's on the bench, as is Chris Furich, after his recovery from his injury. So this is the 11 that we're going to be using for the game against Athletic Bilbao. There is one change in there. It is De Gea. I can't speak. What's going on? Um, it's De Gea in goal. Trilli, Casale, Vandenberg and Miranda in defence. Gomez, Stoikas and Veloso in the midfield. Along with Jota and Fermin supporting Klaasek up front. So the change of Casale in defence is purely because he's complained about game time. I have convinced him that he's not going to be a starter for us. He's going to be an impact sub. But I want to give him at least a bit of game time just to make him happy. He's fully fit or relatively fit as well. So I feel like it's probably a good move to give him a game. But we can always bring on a Coley on. We can always bring on Herculano as well if we need to. Uh, players who made a difference last time were Coco and Navarro as well as Dolberg who did make a difference too. I am keeping them on the bench despite the fact that they did quite well. Because I want to give the others a little bit more of a chance. I am actually going to change Jota to an inverted winger on attack because he has been training that so actually I feel like he probably should be playing that so let's get into the game and let's see whether we can get another three points to start the season I don't actually remember if we've had and I've just messed my hair up as well I would actually remember if we've had back-to-back -back wins in a La Liga season I mean I know we've only had two of them so far in terms of La Liga season but I can't remember with either of them if we had back-to-back -back wins I'll have to go back and have a look at that but I've had to be about did lose their opening game of the season so they will be reeling a little bit. They will be wanting a result here. We will be in the position of party poopers. At least I hope we will. If we're not, then I'll be quite sad. Right, first highlight. It's actually us in attack here. Jota looking to try and get the ball in. Cuts back into Stoikas. Stoikas now goes back to Casale. Casale, again, a rare start for him. Goes to Veloso. Into Jota. Lovely passing now. And Jota ends up bending it just over the goal. And it is still nil-nil. But good opportunity early on from us, which is nice to see. They're actually on top in match momentum. We've had the shot more and our passing is a little bit better than theirs. And our XG is better as well. So be interesting to see how that unfolds as the game goes on. Right, De Gea now into Casale's feet. Casale out to Stoikas. Stoikas driving forward here into Jota, who's cutting inside beautifully. Jota looking for options. He has got Veloso ahead of him into Stoikas. Beautiful burst into the box there. Perfect Mazala play. And it is out for a corner for us. And we do now have the opportunity in the air. We've trained our free kicks this week, not our corners, but hopefully we can be effective. It's whipped in. Vandenberg is a threat, as is Casale. And we've actually, through Casale, won another corner. Going well for us in this game so far. 
It is another threat from a set piece. Again, not the ones we've trained this week. Whipped in, looking for the head of Casale or Vandenberg. Vandenberg, I think, got the header that time. Both of the defenders doing good jobs there, but it is saved this time by Unai Simon. Right, throw in now. Trilly, again, in there, attacking third. Stoikers out to Jota. Into Stoikers, into Hlajek's feet. And Hlajek, who, again, we've taken off of not shooting um, as often. We have just left him doing what he wants to do. Has gone and made it 1 0 to Deportivo La Coruña. Good to see the new permanent signing after his successful loan spell last season doing a good job. Hlajek I used last year on FM23 as well and he was really good in my, my career save, which by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, will be returning in FM25. I need to get the exacts of how it's going to work sorted, but it will be returning. Um, but it is 1-0. Excellent. Another corner from us here. We take it short. Jota looking to cut in. Gets tackled there by Villabre. But Stoikers does pick it up instead. Stoikers looking to get it into the box. He gets into the box. It's hit there. Fermin is there. And Fermin has a chance to make it too. But he just puts it wide. Unlucky there for the on-loan Barcelona man. Um, still only the one goal. But we've really been giving it in this game. We've really been doing a good job. But we know Atleti Bilbao have the quality to really burn us. So we need to make sure that we capitalise on any momentum that we do have but at the moment we're letting them come forward here they have got quality players so we do need to be careful here balls into Imar and that is 1-1 that is exactly what I was on about it was always coming um, if we didn't take advantage of our lead and it is now back to square one I'm going to encourage the boys because we've played well so I'm not overly unhappy about that but I'm just going to try and encourage them let's just try and push on a bit more Fermin really needs to start getting his act together I mean we need to probably maybe find a new position for him because he's just not doing that well out on that side but he's playing in the position on that side yes he wants to be a supporting player but he should be playing better than he is so I'm going to say that we're doing okay I am going to have a bit of a go at him and we'll see if we can G him up but everyone else has been doing okay I'm just really going to kind of go in and be like you're doing okay let's just push on because I think that is the best message I'm going to demand a bit more from them and we'll just see whether we can get Fermin into the game a little bit more and see if we can get him playing a bit better. I am sort of regretting the decision of signing Navarro in a way because Fermin was going to be the other midfielder. And I do think, I do wonder whether he'd have had a better job there. Um, hijack has gone and scored, but I think it's offside, so I'm not too excited about it. I do wonder whether that might be a thing. Now, whether we can get Navarro to play out wide okay. And maybe tuck Fermin in instead. I don't know. I don't know whether that will work. And it has been disallowed, by the way. It has been disallowed. It has been disallowed. Get your, get your grammar rights, Stu. Um, yeah, I don't know whether it's a thing that we can do. I mean, we need to just find a way to get Fermin playing well. Because at the moment, he's having a shocker out there. Um, and, yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's exactly the same as last season. It's annoying because his preseason has been pretty good. But... His preseason, a lot of it was playing against teams that aren't quite as good just to get our fitness up. Right, ball into Hlajek here. Hlajek, he's going to go for another, and he has actually got one this time, and it is 2-1. Not disallowed. Veloso doing some lovely work in the middle. It's a wonderful pass from him in that, I say new, he's obviously played it before, before he got to us, but that playmaking role in the middle. Gomez gets it to him. Working beautifully. The defensive midfielder laying it off a simple pass to the creative one. The creative one finds the... The attacking forward and the attacking forward makes it two. And that makes me happy. Right, Firmin is coming off. I'm going to bring on Boedo again. Let's give Boedo some minutes. Um, I'm very, very happy with his contributions in the first game. Let's see if he can get some decent contributions in this game. I just want to try and make sure that we do use him, even though he's only a two-star player. I just want to make sure that we do get the, as much out of him as we can. Because the more game time he gets, the better he will be. Big ball over the top. Looking for Hlajek. Hlajek. Ends up heading it out wide. And it actually has reached Jota. We've somehow ended up with a good counter-attack here. And Alajek looking for the hat-trick. Should have held it up a little bit more. That's where I think don't shoot as often would have been a good trait for him to have. But it's absolutely fine. We still lead. I am going to make another change here. Veloso is tiring. I am going to make the same change as the last game. Navarro is going to come on for him. We'll get him a few more minutes in that role. And I'm also going to bring on Nianzu for his proper debut. And then we'll leave it another 10 minutes before we make any more changes. So an attacking and defensive change there. We'll get Nianzu a few minutes in that halfback role. Again, he's been absolutely fine in it in pre-season. So I've got no doubt he'll be able to do a decent job. Right, Jota has picked up a little bit of a knock. So we're going to not risk him further. We're going to bring Chris Furich on. And I would love to take Klajek off. But he's on the hat-trick, so I can't. So we have to leave him on, I think. I'm going to bring on Illich. 
for his first appearance of the season and we'll just see whether we can just see the game out with those two changes if not get a third because I suppose the left back change is quite an attacking one uh, and Furich was our top goal scorer last season so that would be lovely I'm just going to demand a bit more for the final few minutes let's see if we can just get over the line here with back to back wins we've got a bit of added time here so we do have to navigate that first but I think we might have done it we have indeed we win back to back games I feel like that's the first time since we've been promoted that we've done that I genuinely do. Um, I am going to have a word with Firmin as well. I'm angry about him playing as badly as he is playing at the moment because he's not playing very well at all. So I need to go away and work out how to get the best out of him. Annoyingly, I think the best out of him would be in the middle. But he, we've got no room in the middle. So, you know, we have to kind of deal with it. But really good performance from Harjak there. Playing against a better team than the first game and getting two goals. Again, I might just have to kind of go with the fact he'll miss chances um, and have him just going for more shots and he'll eventually get some but that is a really really good result i'm really really happy with that and as things stand after the first couple of games of the season it leaves us in exactly where we want to be champions league spots fourth place level on points with everyone else just goal difference separating us we've only conceded the one goal um valencia have conceded a couple real madrid and atletico madrid have conceded goals barcelona wherever barcelona they're mid table they have only played once but they drew that game and they conceded two goals so they might be a little bit of a shaky one this season so far but we've got um one of the better kind of goals scored as well uh valencia and real madrid topping us on that as it stands but really really happy with how things have gone so far again just want to double check last season how did we open the season we opened it with a draw and a win so we did win one of those season before how did we do i feel like it was back-to-back -back draws it was back-to-back -back draws so i have a look the season before that when we were in la liga 2 uh, a win and a loss. And then the first season of the save, I think we got back-to-back -back wins on this one. We did. We battered the first two teams. So um, it's the first time since the opening season of this save that we've actually got back-to-back -back wins at the beginning of a season. I am really happy with that. Very, very happy with that indeed. So when do we come back? Well, obviously, we'll come back for a Champions League game, but we'll tie it in with a, a league game as well. Maybe we'll tie it in with... Barcelona, maybe that could be quite fun, especially they've only. I mean, if they've played one game and they've drawn it. I'm probably being a little bit harsh on them, but if they're struggling this season um, and they conceded a couple of goals against Sociedad, I think that could be a fun one to come back to. So we might try and come back for that along with the Champions League game around it. And fingers crossed, we do quite well up until then. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed today's video, do not forget to leave a big like on there for me and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. You'll make me really happy. You'll put a smile on this face right here. Sounds like a good plan to me. I've been Stu, you guys have been awesome, and I will see you in the next episode. Cheers.